Okay, so here is the new firing system that I ordered from Quantum Fire. Um, I think their website's firesystems.us. Um, I got two different things. I got the um, Quantum Fire 12 key system package, which is, has a 12 key system, the 250 feet of shooting wire, which this wire can be reused if you choose to do so. Um, you'd kind of have to ghetto fire it a little bit and you know, you'd be taping it up a lot But you could theoretically reuse this wire a few times until it's probably gonna get ripped apart um, Anyways, and then I also got the 101 meter um, talent to igniter clips um, Which I need to buy more of these soon And then I also bought the another 12 key system completely separate It was only $80 and this is like 124 all together with shipping to Florida from I believe they're in Ohio. It was only 220 bucks for everything. And now that I have the systems, all I ever have to do by separate is more wire or igniters. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the system. Now I know Cobra is the new system everyone has and wants, and I'm gonna get one too. I'm just probably gonna wait until New Year's to get it. I kind of wanted to get this system as a um, backup plan or you know, just the spare to always have, because you never know what's going to happen while you're doing a professional show or, you know, just a backyard show. It's just kind of a good little, just a little good little thing to throw on the back of the truck to have. There's a couple of things I don't like about this system. Um, there's really no safety. Most of the other systems have some sort of safety. And by safety, I mean, you know, besides the on-off switch, they'll have like a lockout key. Which is always good to have, you know, even if you set up your show during the middle of the day and then say by 5 o'clock your show set up and you're ready to go. And say you leave a watcher there with the stuff and you want to go grab something to eat. You as the lead shooter should, if you have a system with a key on it, you should be locking that stuff up and taking your keys with you. Um, well, also though, just because as a lead shooter you also shouldn't be leaving your shoot site unless it's always with an eyesight either. But anyways, that's just one of the little things not that really matters for what a majority of people are doing, especially the, you know, hobbyists. But it's something that it's worth getting if you can. So each one of these modules is six cues, and uh, so 12 cues per system. So there's Q1 through 6, and Q7 through 12. And all of them are on the same on the remote. It's just, you know, 1 through 12, on off switch, very standard. Nothing on the remote turns on. There's no lights besides whenever you push the buttons. So, and then you have the antenna and all that good stuff. Um, you can link on each system. There's a little hole in every one of them. And you can link, I can link all four of these systems to this one remote, or to that remote, or these two to this remote, or, you know, whatever. You can intertwine them, which is nice about it. Um... For those that don't know, all wireless firing systems, for the most part, on the internal, this this thing right here has the same general internal functioning design as even the Cobra. I mean, it's all meant to do the same thing. You put the wires, you know, in like the speaker wire slots, and it fires through the power source. Obviously, the Cobra is significantly way better than this because you have scripted remotes, and you can do a whole show you know, with just that remote, which is really nice. As to where this particular system, there's about, after holding each button down, you have at least, I think it's almost a five second delay until you have enough juice to shoot through the next queue. So what that means is you can't go, you know, one, two, three, it's not gonna work. You have to hold the first button down, wait a couple seconds, and then hold your next button down. But that's that, I mean, you know. So let's look. See if we, I don't have anything, like I said, I have the batteries in them, but I don't have any, uh, well, I'm not going to put any igniters in them while we're inside right now. So we have Qs 1 through 6 on this module, and Q 7 through 8 on this one. So we'll turn each one on, and you see that all the lights turn on. Okay. Now whenever, for the continuity for this one, it's a little weird. Most other systems out there whenever you plug something in there's continuity on the lights the lights gonna usually turn green or be green or the lights just gonna stay on for instance whenever you turn this on one thing that could be different about the system is you turn it on 
none of these lights could come on and that one could indicating you have power and then whenever you put your wires and you get continuity this light should come on in my opinion however that's not how it works with this particular system whenever you put the wires in here from your connector your e-match connectors or your talent igniters or just your shoot wire the light turns off whenever there's a closed circuit so either way it's still letting you know you have continuity it's not too bad and then so theoretically whenever you have everything hooked up all your lights would be off turn your remote on to the on position whenever you would press q number one and say this light would be off and it would light up brighter okay and just remember two it would light up brighter or if we go down to seven it's gonna light up brighter or 12 it's gonna light up brighter so just i mean it's it like i said it all basically does the same stuff just different manufacturer honestly besides the cobra system i'm willing to bet that most of these systems that are bought from china are all made in the same factory by the same people but i don't know that's just my guess so there's the two systems 24 cues and all we've got the 250 feet of shooting wire which is really all I need because we don't need, we're not doing anything too, too crazy lengthwise. And then we have the two boxes of Talon Igniter, Talon 2 Igniters. I love how they package them like you match. Kind of makes my day. So you have the Talon 2 Igniters. Um, you know, these are just the one meter ones. Then you have the clips, almost like you match. Or I mean, not the clips, sorry, the wire ends. Almost like you match where you would rip this piece of wire right here off, or the coating off, and you would insert that into your slots. So, I have, well even though, I know there's a couple other videos out there, I'm also gonna make one and show you guys. Even though there is, these are consumer igniters and not necessarily E-Match, there are a lot of tricks that you can do with these, to with consumer fireworks, to get your show spot on, to where whenever you have this hooked into Q number one and you hit number one on the trigger you don't have to wait a few second delay for that fuse to go and light it there's a couple tricks that you can do especially with these new Talon 2 igniters where the clip is or the wire is right there at the end so we'll we'll play with some fuses and we'll come up with some projects and I'll make some videos and show you guys some tricks that I do um, some really good tricks that I'm gonna do at what I call surprise shots which will be um, be used as close proc stuff um, that's gonna well basically you know be like a mine wall right almost right in to the spectator's face it just it gives that you know image of wow that was really awesome Disney does a lot of that I don't know what they call it I call it surprise shots that's kind of stupid but Disney does it too um, it's just another visual trick so that's the system that's everything um, as we get closer to the 4th, I'll be doing some more projects, making some more videos. Um, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see. Till then, we'll see you later.